Hey guys, back with a little transfer window update in preparation for the next match that we're going to have uh, at the end of this month. Uh, we've beaten uh, Galliferidine 3-1, MacArthur, Brindle, and McGregor with goals. 3-2 over Peter's head, Brindle, Ray Devaney, and Brimner. Ray Devaney, by far the best player on our team, I think. We tried to make him a contract extension. He said that he would not. He's got a year left. I think he signed through the end of next season. Yeah. And uh, he said he uh, his utter dislike for the club. So, anyway, for whatever that's worth. Uh, some interesting news coming through. We're set for uh, an inter, uh, record points haul. We're currently on 58 points. The club record is 62. So, uh, two more wins or, you know, combination of four points will equal that that's why i was showing you the calendar i think we're going to get that just just a chance and also uh, we're on 19 wins so we have broken the club record of 17 wins uh, so we are doing well transfer window as i mentioned we got an offer for kenny avenel but again it was for no money and i rejected him we're top of the table. Why would I sell a starter for our club for no money? I think that's ridiculous. But anyway, so he's only 22. He's on 18, 12 and a half uh, a year. I think the cheapest guy I was going to be able to get was 28 years old, and he was on about 32 a year. So a lot more money, a lot older. I said, we'll keep this guy. And uh, but we have made some deals. We've done some business. We did sell one player. Uh, we sold David Scott, our midfielder, to Montrose. He did go out on a free, but again, it saved us. Look at that. They're paying him four thousand one hundred dollars a year. We were paying him twelve and a half. It's got to be something in the AI to just jack over the finances of human run teams. Uh, we did talk uh, last episode, we were going to be looking at left backs. So we have uh, been busy. We've actually dropped some money. Uh, we do have uh, Calvin Jack has come in on a free. He can play left wing. He can also play left mid. Not real good at crossing, but he's a decent passer. So he could do a job out there in a pinch. And, uh, you know, he's starting to learn the middles as well. He'll never be a center back. Uh, does not have the marking ability or the heading ability. But uh, I think he'll be a decent enough left back. 27 years old, we had brought him in on a loan, I mean on trial, and then signed him. So he'll be depth. Uh, Leon McGuire is the guy we really brought in. Uh, not quite as imposing physically, but better technical skills, better mental skills. And he's five-star potential, 18 years old. Uh, he can play left. He can also scoot over to center back. And he won't be great, but he can do the job. But he's still developing at 18. He can also, he's learning right and left mid. So he'll do, you know, he'll get around a little bit for us. The big signing, we dropped $3,000 for Brian Jones from Livingston. I was, I was kind of worried about Murphy up top. And, you know, only having five goals. And with our other striker being a little cold lately, I said, you know, I really don't want to, I don't want goals to dry up down the stretch. So uh, we found a 21-year-old Scott Scotsman, uh, Brian Jones. Uh, we signed him. Uh, he's on 28 and a half a year, four and a half star potential. He's got good physicals all around. Composure is pretty good aggressiveness uh, strength isn't all there but he's average but very good composure determination above average decision making teamwork work rate technique i like all that 13 finishing 11 first touch 10 dribbling heading is non-existent so he's going to be a low cross guy but uh taking a look at his history hopefully he can score goals he hasn't scored he scored two for livingston in 11 matches two in his career he came up through the Aberdeen uh, youth system uh, but will be his first uh, team that will probably give him some starts and I mean he slots in ahead of MacArthur 
But what I'm thinking is I'm going to partner. <sighs> Murphy should just be so good, but he's 31 and he lacks the pace. I'm thinking about going with 21-year-old Jones and then MacArthur up top. Of course, MacArthur's only an eight pace, but he's been so hot this season with 20 goals. Uh, I don't think I can afford to pull him off. So Jones will definitely be in the mix. He'll be rotating in and out as we try to figure out who can uh, who can get the job done. But anyway, that is the... Uh, signings that we had. We were looking to try to bring in a couple of guys on loan, but we're maxed out on loan players. I cannot get rid of Andy Clark. He's got a non-cancelable uh, loan deal, so he's just going to sit on the bench the rest of the season. But uh, I think we did, a, you know, we strengthened just a little bit. Finances were not way out of line. I mean, we're still under 400000 We've got a lot of payroll room. We've still got a lot of transfer budget left. We only spent 13000 this year, but the problem is we're losing money, and we've lost 167000 So, you know, this is going to put us into more of a money loss, so we're going to have to get promoted to, you know, definitely. So this was a, a move I think is just going to ensure promotion. But anyway, let me get these other matches played. We'll be back, and then we'll take a look at how some of the new players are fitting in at that point and, uh, and then get to the next set of matches. So we'll see you guys back here in just a minute. All right, we are back. It's match day. All right, so we've, we went through transfers. If you haven't checked out the Throwback Thursday video, uh, I don't put one out. This might be the only one I've ever put out, but I did do a Leeds retrospective for 2000, our 2018 save. Uh, that went up on Thursday. Go check it out. We revisit the, uh, the dominating club that we built at Leeds United and FM18. Some of the players, the great Amin Guiri. He retired as a player at 36. Finished his career with at, at Olympic Lyon. 422 appearances. 177 goals, not a bad career at all. 230 career goals, 513 career matches. Fair enough. All right, well, anyway, he was our amazing, amazing player. All right, let's get into today's matches. We are here, home game with Cove Rangers. Oh, I guess we need to catch you up. Uh, so we had the great comeback against Sterling Albion, the late goal from Adam Murphy on the header from Sandy MacArthur, and we came back and stole this match. Uh, then uh, off camera, we beat Gala Faradine 3-1, MacArthur, Bobby Brindle, and Joshua McGregor, all with first half goals, 3-1 win. 3-2 over Peter's head, Brindle with another goal, Ray Devaney chipped one in, and Billy Brimner, I mean Blair Brimner with the other goal. I'm just going to call him Billy. That's just, that's his nickname. Montrose, a 2-1 win. McGregor off the back line. Brian Jones, the new player, scored a penalty in his debut. A 1-0 win over Fours. Mechanics, McGregor with a goal after Ray Devaney was sent off in the 71st minute with his second yellow. And then a 3-1 win over Edinburgh University. Andy Baxter, Brian Jones, and Adam Murphy with goals. Brian Jones has uh, been in form, uh, two goals in three matches, playing a 7-2-7 up top, and uh, he is one of our new strike force people partnered up with, with MacArthur up top. So today we're back for Cove and for Martin, and let's get into it. All right, so we are favored. We are in excellent form. We've only won two out of 14, but... We're the team to beat here, I think, boys. All right, we are, let's see. Yep, that's my away tactic. Yep, that's the one we're going with, home favorites. Let's do our quick pick. We've got MacArthur and Jones up top. Baxter, Brindle on the wings. McKenzie and Beatty in the center. Jack, Avenel, McGregor, Sainsbury on the back four, Johnson in goal, Jack one of the new players, Jones one of the new players, and who was the other guy? Losing, uh, losing my memory capacity. 
Jack McGuire. Leon McGuire. Is he on the bench? Inquiring minds want to know. McGuire is on the bench. He can play left back, center back, and wing back left. So a lot of potential there, but uh, can't head the ball. So he's going to be the backup to, uh, to Jack. You know, it's really a shame that, you know, can Jack play anywhere else? He can play mid-left, but he doesn't have crossing ability. But he could move up for Baxter if the need arose. All right, well, let's get to it. I'm, th I'm starting to think I talk too much, but that's just me. <laughs> the reason I say that is, I, I, you know, my videos are 30 minutes basically on the dot, two episodes. And, you know, then I watch, you know, some guys and, you know, they'll have a, a 32 minute episode and then an 18 minute episode and then a 24 minute episode. And it's just like, wow, what's what's going on? You know, oh, what a shot by Blair Beatty, his fourth of the season way outside 30 yards out. That is a goal of the season contender, I would have to guess. Cleared out. McKenzie, one touch, just turns it to the right peg, places it back to the left. Hey. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Set piece. Baxter. He bends it, sends it just high. One nothing. Early days. All right, another another highlight for us. Jack takes the throw, lumps it deep into the box. Oh, what a turn by Brian Jones, and he gets another goal. First one on camera. There you go. Welcome to the club. Third goal of the season. Puts us up 2-0. Got to like that. We are dominating the game statistically. Let's give him some praise. All right, MacArthur's already gone complacent on me. Come on, boys. And nothing else. Well, that's fine. That's, uh... And we didn't tell him anything. We just walked in, got a sat snack, and, uh... Walked back out on the pitch. All right. Let's tell them to concentrate. Whoa, they're overwhelmed. All right. This is a highlight for them. Oh, they're looking dangerous right here. They're breaking us down. We're not looking solid here. Uh, look at the drop-in pass there. Uh, he gets a free cross in. And Lloyd Sykes, his third goal of the season. That was about 30 yards out, too. Well, now I'm not feeling as, as happy about our first goal. Uh, let's see. Complacent MacArthur. He is not playing well. Let's bring... Uh, Let's bring Adam Murphy in for him. Calvin Jack. Let's get McGuire on for him. I really want to kind of balance those two guys. Jack looks like... Uh, let's demand more. Get them focused here for about 10 minutes. Oh, no. All right, uh, let's make another sub. Actually, let's, yeah, let's, uh, Avenel. Avenel's motivated. Oh, Sainsbury's having a, he's having a mad day. Oh, I can't, I can't change that at the moment. All right, let's jump in. Let's uh, defend. We're already defending narrower. 
Let's go ahead and condense our defense. And let's do some time wasting. All right, they take an injury. We've got five minutes of stoppage time. And we shut them down completely, it looks like. No highlights. Uh, I am going to go aggressive. I don't know what happened in the second half. I like that one. I like that one. And it worked. All right. So restricted transfers close. I'm not expecting to do any more business. I don't have anything outstanding. So uh, that puts us on 70 points. Uh, looks like we have already guaranteed ourselves a playoff spot uh, in one of the four playoff spots. But we are... 23 points clear. I'm 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 feeling pretty comfortable here. Not going to print the invitations up just yet, but we'll see you in the next episode here in a second. Jim Gibson coming back from his injury, but he will not be ready to play today. And rumor has it that we might be just a mere win away from winning the league. So the pressure's on. We're at home, New Dundas Park in Bonnie Rig. 267 tickets sold out of our 2200 capacity. We are heavily favored. Jack Jones uh, disappointed me in practice this week. So I am going to give Murphy the start. Put the pairing back up top. Actually, McFarlane. You know what? I'm going to give McFarlane a run here. 20-year-old Scottish player who's been in our system. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm liking that idea. He is lacking match sharpness, which is okay. You know, I, was, uh, I mentioned that I did that Throwback Thursday video, and the Amin Guiri had multiple... 30 goal seasons and I just remember how fun that was and I haven't had a 30 goal scorer since at all oh no okay that was an easy save for Johnston Whew. I was sweating that a little bit when he got an open cross he was running sideways and he didn't fall Oh, Brindle with the little tap. First touch, MacArthur. Morrison sprawls to make the save. Pretty easy. McGregor goes over the goal, that one. So the Mac, the Mac boys are really pressuring. Oh, flick on header, but there is nobody there. All right, shut them down. I don't like them having a highlight. All right, looks like our defense got back. No, what the hell? Liam Robinson, 14th goal of the season. Oh, that's disappointing. First shot and it goes in. Ugh. All right, Jack's frustrated. MacArthur's nervous. Show some passion. Well, looks like we had a, an attempt there, but Morrison makes the save. All right, Sainsbury brings it right back forward. Ray Devaney cuts in, and he can't find the net. Morrison tips it over the bar for a corner. All right. There's a ball in. And another header saved by the keeper. Henderson picks up an injury, thigh injury. Sainsbury into the box. McFarland. Oh, he did a volley right off the throw, but it goes out of play. We are dominating this match. I have no idea how we don't have a goal yet. 
All right, Ray Devaney, he breaks in again. He takes another shot right to the keeper. I am thinking, all right, yeah, we're going to go full out aggressive. Let's see if I can get these guys to calm down. Uh, he's frustrated. He's nervous. I'm not sure what. All right, that's not helping, I don't guess. Oh, let me check one thing in the tactic. Let's work the ball into the box. We haven't been doing that, and it, we haven't needed to, but maybe that'll help us. All right, show some passion. Come on, boys. All right, nothing going on. Uh, McFarlane, let's bring Murphy on. Let's get that pairing up. Calvin Jack is struggling again, so we'll bring McGuire on. I mean, it's a 6-2. It's not like he's killing him, you know, killing us, but... Oh, no. All right, right to Johnston. Push forward. All right, a roll out. And he just lumped it. That doesn't help us any, does it? Oh, no, a flick on header. Oh, no. Oof. Come on, boys. Are we really going to lose the match here? Knocked away. Murphy. Murphy makes the big play. He's in space. He's got runners all across the front line. Oh, taken down. That's got to be a foul. All right, we're going to have a set piece, and nothing flipping happened. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. How do we not even see the set piece? All right, Brindle, flick on header. They bring it back. No. Come on. Avenel chases the ball down. He loses it, playing around with it. Luckily, there was nobody making a run, and our other center back was able to cut that angle off. Oh, my. All right, Avenel, we're going to bring Ransom on for you. And uh, push forward. Oh, right outside the box. Come on. Ray Devaney. It's there. No, they clear it. Come on. 27 shots to six. 15 to five on target. Eight chances created, and we can't find the net. Wow, that's disappointing. That's just horrific. Seven games on the bounce before we lost. All right, let's take a look because it said we were one match. So we play 36. So we have eight left, which is 24 points. Now, we're, we're probably a, two matches away from being able to clinch. We're still 20 points up. I mean, it's not like I don't think we have to worry about losing, but, you know, gee whiz. Uh, pretty much dominating the leaderboards. I would like to come back for the clincher. So I'm going to play it by ear. I was going to come back for Foras and Cove at the season's end, but I'd like to go ahead and just come back for when we clinch, I would hope. And then what we may do is just play all the way through to next transfer uh, when we move up to League One. Yes, League One. So, ooh, Queen of the South in danger of going down. Guilty Hearts, Air United, Inverness. And then who's coming down from there? 
Steinhaus Muir, Fort Bar, I've heard of them, Partick Thistle. And then there's Ross County. Okay. I was hoping Ross County would get sent down and then that would give us maybe a better ability to get some players out of them, but we'll see. We'll see. Wow. Celtic is just running away with it over Rangers. Hamilton is pushing them, but Rangers, poof, way off the mark. Oh well. All right, guys. We'll we'll come back when I when I think we need to. Uh, hopefully I get, I gauge it right, but what I may do is just record every episode, every match. And, you know, then if we don't need it or we don't clinch, I may delete it and start again. Well, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you don't mind, or if you're new and we will see you guys in the next episode, hopefully to raise some silverware. Oh, by the way, how's our profile looking? No, I guess we have to actually win the silverware. See you guys. Bye.